going to revise the second chapter and do some numericals from the second chapter okay like uh, the complex type of numericals from the second chapter is uh, division multiplication of multiplication of the uh, numbers decimal numbers okay multiplication of the decimal numbers and the second part is division of decimal numbers okay so and let's uh, discuss about we will discuss about some sentence problem sentence problems on the above topics so these are the basic three topics to be covered today in today's class okay so see the first point is multiplication of decimal numbers directly straight to the point multiplication multiplication of decimal okay how multiplication of decimal numbers or the decimals okay how you can do multiplication let us take first type of question type a type a what is the type a questions suppose we need to multiply we can uh, actually type multiplication decimal number it, it, it is this question belongs to exercise number 2.6 okay so you can check the 2.6 lesson hmm there you can get the type of questions number one question from type a we suppose we are given a question 0 0.2 into 6 how we can multiply this type of numbers if we see it is a number 0 0.2 that means 0 to okay without decimal you can see 0 0.2 means 0 to into 6 ok that means to multiply this number this type of number what we will do let's forget about the decimal point what it is here it is 0 to into 6 here right 0 to means what 2 2 into 6 means 6 2 into 6 is 12 so 12 is the answer ok but the point is the decimal sits before a one digit here the decimal sits before a a digit one digit since it it is it is sitting before one digit so we will put the decimal before one digit on the bus that is that's the point clear so this type of questions may come number 2 0. Point, it is uh, from 5 0 0.05 2.6 question number 5 ok 0. 0.6 into 7 let's see see we should know that we should know that if decimal point is placed before any number and no any other number is there before the number ok except 0 means when you have a number when decimal is number to have a number to have a number here it is 0 0 means what no any other consensus is there that means we can take it this 0 this 0 has no value 
Now you can simply tell that 0 0.05 into 7 it represents what 5 into 7 directly you here no number is there 0, 0, 005 means 5 only so 0, 0, 005 means 5 so 5 into 7 35 first do the multiplication part okay and after that put the decimal point how a how you can put the decimal point 1 2 the decimal point sits before two digits that's why we will put the decimal before one two two digits and here before decimal we can put a zero here ah, we can put a zero before the decimal point that is the technique okay number six from one to eleven point zero two into four so how it can be done you can see so as it is see you just have to multiply this number with this number how two eleven zero two into four four to the eight four zero four one four one four to the eight so that means eight four four zero eight. So see when decimal sits before how many digits? How many digits? One digit and this is two digits overall. Yes. Okay. Then we have to put the decimal before two digits only as a total. Let's take another question which is question number four last suppose we have 0 0.2 okay and we have 0 point 0 0.05 okay 0 0.2 into 0 0.05 this question is not in the book I am given as extra question I have given okay so how it can be done it is 2 0 2 means 2 if we forget about the decimal point it will become 0 2 means 2 and if we forget about the decimal points it will be 0 0 5 so 2 into 5 means what 10 correct so 10 means so decimal point sit one digit before here one digit okay before one digit and in this case decimal point sits before two digit okay so in this in the second point it sits before two digit and in the first number it sits before one digit that means two plus one three digit so that's why we will put the decimal point 1 2 it is 2 but decimal points oh total as a total decimal point is before 1 2 and 3 that means we have to put it before 3 digits by giving a 0 1 2 3 if there is no that kind of digits okay we have to put a 0 like this so that it can become a perfect decimal number that is required by a multiplication of the numbers so this is the type of question okay you can see or you can take a screenshot here okay this is the question may come in the exam next one coming to the type b suppose that in type of b questions we are given that 31.1 into 100 so the second term or second number may be it may be a multiples of 100 multiples of 10 okay and this is how you can do the maths without uh, doing the long process see we know 31.1 if we forget the decimal part it will be 311 right and forget about the zeros it will be only one so 31.1 or 311 in 
into one is three one one three one one into one three one one as you can do two zeros are here so it will be two zero okay now see decimal point sits before one number only one digit so it will be like that one. first we do the multiplication 311 into 100 that will be 31100 you know that 2 into 100 means 200 or not if you give a point there so it will be point one uh, decimal point sits before overall before one digit so it will be like okay so three one one zero zero and for that decimal is before on okay question answer is three one one zero correct or not hmm? number two let's uh, take a question zero point zero three In the thousand, what it will be? Zero zero three means three, and one thousand. Three into one thousand, three thousand. Okay or not? Okay. But decimal, here no decimal point is there. But in this case, decimal says before two digit. That's why we will put here so that. We can found the actual answer. Thirty is the answer. That's way we can do the B type of questions. Clear? Next. Type C. This is question number five. So what can be the type C questions? If we see about uh, number one, one zero one point zero one into zero point zero one. If we see, there is one and zeros are there. Simply forget about the decimal in the first step. Just multiply it. One zero one zero one and zero zero one. Okay. One on the one. 1 0 is 0, 1 1 is 1, 0 1 and 0, these are all zeros, that's why it is meaningless, okay, we don't have to multiply 0 by this, by 0, this number, okay, since this is meaningless, so it will be like 1 0, 1 0 1 means 101 into 101 into 1 means 101 into 101. Oh, sorry, 10 on 101 or 01. Okay, but see after this point, last point, if zeros are there, we, you can put it zero. But after this point, means after a constant number, the last non non zero number, like one, there is no any numbers, okay, or no any zeros. So we cannot put here zeros. And in this case, the point is sit between the two zeros. Between the two zeros means we cannot put it like that. Okay? This is a, it represents the actual fraction. Okay? 1 0 1 into point one, point zero 0.01 into zero zero 001 means 1 0 1 0 1. Let's see. Count the decimal parts. 1, 2. This means we have two students, and here in this number, decimal says we have two digits again. So two plus two that means four. One zero one zero that means four. Digits. Okay. So does question can be solved. So this is the multiplication of the decimal numbers okay let's study about some division 
how divisions can be done number one if suppose we are given that what will be the answer if 35.7 is divided by 3 what will be the answer so in this case the process is same but little bit different if we divide 357 by 3 see 3 1 the 3 5 comes so 3 1 the again 3 5 minus 3 2 again 7 comes 27 3 9 the 27. except the decimal point we have completed the division process that means we can say that 35.7 Okay, so inside is hundred nineteen. Okay, hundred nineteen. But see here, decimal is before one point. So in the answer also, we will give the decimal for one. Bus. That is the process of doing the division part. Okay. Another question number two means you can you can say type b suppose 235.4 divided by 10 how it can be done if we see clearly it means 235.4 divided by 10 let me see here already decimal is there and this is already decimal is there in numerator But we have to divide again by a 10. 10 means where 1 0 is present. 1 0. So what it will be? 235 4. 2354. The complete number is 2354. And uh, if we divide this, already a point is there before 1 digit again we divide the number by 18 how many zeros are there one zero only 10 one zero then the point will moved before one digit again so that is the process 23.5 so this is the method okay this is the method if we see the question is like that 235.4 divided by 1000 in what will be the answer simply 2354 write the write this part see actually we don't see see one second this process is applied when there is only one and zeros one and zeros but if two is there then that will be different but let's do this first if here see uh, three zeros are there so 5.4 by three zeros that means you can write two three five four three zeros so this decimal moves before three numbers one two three so answer will be this why three zero the three zeros are there the in the divisor part or in the denominator so already decimal is here if decimal is not is if decimal is absent in the first number then we have to count the numbers from last one if decimal is there then we have to count the number, count the decimal part from that number where it is already present. Okay. So it is 0 0.2354. This is the answer. Three zeros, one, two, three, three digits before. That is the point. So simple. Okay. So we can do the, this type of sums clearly. Okay. Now so coming to the next question question number three if we have given 14.49 divided by 7 how we can do this 
14.49 first we have to divide 1449 by 7 7 to the 14 4 comes but we cannot we 7 to the 14 4 down so we cannot divide 4 by 7 so we will give a uh, seven. Oh no, sorry. Fourteen and nine. Seven, seven, zero. Fourteen. Two point seven. Seven, seven, zero. Fourteen and then seven to the fourteen. But see, a point is there. Two twenty-seven is the answer. 27 we put here ok 27 is the answer but see here decimal is before 2 digit so we have to put the decimal before 2 digit that is the point nothing else but this way you can do the all the division sums ok now question number 4, uh, four. given a question sentence problem how we can solve the sentence problems? A vehicle covers a distance of 43.2 kilometer in 2.4 liter of petrol. So, how much distance? it will cover uh, in 1 liter petrol so see given that 43 point kilometer is traveled in 2.4 liter petrol ok see um, vehicle covers in 2.4 liter petrol 43.2 kilometer so in a large number means in more than 1 liter petrol is given and distance is given so we have to find out in 1 liter petrol from greater number to 1 or lower number then from unitary method Unitary method to find out in one liter or in one case. Okay, the vehicle covers in one liter will be what? So it was large. It was the distance. It was less. The distance will be this divided by this. Okay. Right. Two point four. Forty three point two by two point four. This is the distance. Why? Where it is used? It is used where we have to find in one liter case or unit unitary method. Means suppose anywhere we can do this method. If uh, we are given that five uh, so the cost of five chocolate is fifty rupees, cost of one chocolate is fifty by five is the division part. Larger to smaller, it will be divided. But if one uh, cost of one chocolate is 10 rupees, what is the cost of 5 chocolates? The 5 into 10 means, see, smaller to larger, if we have to find out, then we will multiply. And here, larger to smaller, we have to divide it. That's it. Okay? So, 43.2 by 2.4, here a, a important point come, an important point comes, 43.2, one decimal is before one digit, decimal is before one digit. In this case, you can see, decimal is before one digit, right? That's why we can multiply by 10 to remove the decimal number, see? 
why why one zero because one will be there since decimal sits before one digit that's why you can take one zero if decimal sits before two digit then you will take two zero so like that here also here also okay so it will be like 43 2 432 because it is multiplied by 10 1 0 it will be removed 2.4 into 10 means 24 there is a technique we have to divide 432 by 24 how we can uh, cut it uh, 4 6 uh, 24 here 4 1 uh, 4 uh, 3 is not divided by 4 that's why you will take 0 4 is 32 now see 6 1 is 6 4 is 6 is 40 so in one liter of the vehicle covers 18 kilometer so that is the type of numericals that we should do okay clear so this way we have to do the sums so homework is do all questions from 2.6 exercise 2.6 and 2.7 from match book so this is the homework thank you So, Educare Coaching Institute, we are Educare Coaching Institute, we will provide the classes. If you want to uh, ask something, then WhatsApp me at double eight seven six two five seven nine nine zero. Thank you.